The posting credits presentation is intended for remittance processing users. Before posting credits, it's important to make sure that the receive date and the deposited date fields have the correct dates entered. These dates will populate with information from the remittance file, but those automatically determined dates can be overridden if you desire. If you make a change to either date, but do not wish to post the credits at this time, please use the save function to save the new dates with the remittance. A saved change to either of these dates will be recorded and reported in the remittance history. Once those two dates have been confirmed, simply press the post credits button to post all the ready for posting credits in the remittance. No credits will be posted for any claims that are not that are in the not matched or call matched states. If there are credits listed as ready for posting, but the post credits button is not enabled, your system administrator has not granted you security privilege to post credits and adjustments in the remittance directory. Posting credits is a permanent action. There is no capability to undo the posting of a credit from remittance processing. Once a remittance credit is posted to a call, any modification of a poster credit can be done from that call's credits tab. If there are any remaining claims in the not matched or call match status, you can still manually match the call or from payer as necessary to create ready for posting credits, which the can, can then be posted. There is no harm in posting the ready for posting credits and then dealing with the call matched and not match claims and then posting the newly created ready for posting credits. When all claims and credits in the remittance have reached the posted status, the remittance status will automatically change to complete and any provider level adjustments included in the remittance will be recorded for reporting in the credit report and or the optional general ledger export. Manually changing a pending remittance to a closed remittance will not record the provider level adjustment. If a remittance contains only provider level adjustments and no claim payments or denials, when this remittance is viewed for the first time, the status of the remittance will automatically be changed to complete and the provider level adjustment will be recorded for reporting in the credit report and or that optional general ledger export. This concludes the posting credits presentation. Key points to remember are to review and change the received date and or deposited date if desired before posting any credits from the remittance. Once any credit from the remittance has been posted to a call, the received and deposit dates cannot be modified. Posted remittance credits cannot be edited in remittance processing. Once a credit has been posted by remittance processing to the call, the credit can only be edited by accessing it on the credit tab of that call. Not matched or call match claims can still be manually matched to create remittance credits after other remittance credits have already been posted from that remittance file. When all claims and credits in the remittance have been posted, the remittance status will automatically change from pending to complete. Provider level adjustments from a remittance are only recorded for reporting in the credit report or the general ledger export. If all claims credits have been posted and the remittance has switched from pending status to a complete status. For more information on the configuration or usage of remittance processing, please view the other presentations in the remittance processing series. Thank you.